This video is sponsored by OWC. One of the cool new features that an M1 Mac offers is the ability to download and run iOS apps on the Mac. I was super excited when I heard this news, but I quickly discovered that a lot of the apps that I wanted to use were not made available yet by developers, but there is a workaround if you don't want to wait. To do this, you'll need to download the IPA files of the apps that you want to use from your phone. Now, there is another method that's a free way of doing things by simply opening up the Mac App Store, and in the bottom left corner, go ahead and tap on your name to see all of the apps that you purchased. Make sure to select the iPhone iPad tab, and from here, you can simply download and install apps directly to your M1 Mac. While there are more apps available using this method, unfortunately, not every app is available for you. The only way to do this right now is to download a paid application like iMazing. No, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just the only way that we've been able to install every app from our iOS device on an M1 Mac. So once you've decided to move forward with iMazing and you've downloaded the app, go ahead and launch the app and plug your phone into your Mac. Make sure your device is selected in the left corner and then navigate to manage apps. Go ahead and tap on library and from here you'll see all of the apps that you own. If you right click on an app, you'll see a couple of options. First, you'll need to download the app to your library and then once that download has finished, right click again and select export IPA. Go ahead and select the destination for this export, and I'd probably just go ahead and put it in the Applications folder, and then just double click that IPA file to install it, and it's done. It's super simple. Now, to speed up the process a bit, you can go ahead and select all of the applications at one time for batch download, or hold Command and select each individual app that you want to install. The apps won't be perfect, as most of these are not optimized for touchscreen devices, but instead were mostly optimized for iPads or iPhones, but they will likely get the job done. You might be slightly frustrated with media apps like YouTube TV, Netflix, Hulu, etc. that won't let you put a video in full screen, but at least you can download and watch the content for offline use if you want to. There are also games that you can play, but again, you have to use your trackpad as if you were swiping with your finger, which is kind of difficult to do. But all in all, if you want to download any application that you've purchased from the App Store on your iOS device and put it on your M1 Mac, you can do so using this method. Hopefully developers will make these apps more optimized for M1 Macs in the future, but for now, this is a pretty decent workaround. Now before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. One product that really caught my attention recently is the new Envoy Pro Electron SSD. This is OWC's fastest and toughest mini-sized USB-C bus-powered drive that the company offers, and yeah, it's super fast. The drive touts incredible real-world performance due to it being powered by OWC's Aura SSD, offering over 1,000 megabytes per second. It's incredibly small and can fit in your pocket easily, but it's also built like an absolute tank. This is the perfect new SSD for those who are on the go and don't want to worry about anything happening to your SSD in terms of damage because of its incredible build quality and durability. For more information about the new Envoy Pro Electron or anything else that OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.